All right, guys, you'll never guess what I just found. Out here in the ocean, a brand new. Now that we don't have Elsa? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we can catch some fish, right, Serge? <laughs> now that Elsa's gone? Yeah, now we can get the reds. <laughs> well, we're almost ready to go. Launching out of Port San Luis. It's the uh, first time in like a month. But see you guys when we start paddling out there. Look at Serge holding it up. <laughs> you gotta get your, your rudder in the water. <laughs> no wonder there wasn't one anywhere. <laughs> Why aren't I turning? Uh, don't go that way because there's a it sits lower right there. All right, well, we're in the water. Serge so is having some technical difficulties. <laughs> we are on our way. It's a nice foggy morning. It's always good for catching fish, right? Let's hope. Cross our fingers. Yeah. You can do it! I believe in you! <laughs> All right, you guessed it. We're going for how bit. So we're gonna start our uh, start our drift right inside the breaker wall. We'll work our way out. But yeah, let's get fishing. Sorry guys, the GoPro would not turn on, but We're going for halibut, but I just snagged a nice cavy. Oh, my fish grips. Whew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, baby. That's a keeper right that there. That is a keeper. Look at that. You're going home. Nice. Not a halibut, but take the skunk off. I'll keep, I'll take that for now. It is a good size cabbie. Look at that. All right, let's get this hook out. It's time for rockfish, huh? There we go. Nice cabbie. Nice cabbie. He's probably around 18, 20 inches. All right, but we're gonna drop him back down, fish this area just a little bit more. Hopefully get a, a, a halibut, but I'll take this any day. All right, so we're gonna toss on this hookup bait because Elsa just nailed it last week on these. What'd you get? Uh, oh. Sergio just hooked up on a gopher. But we just got to our new spot. We're kind of done trolling for now uh, for Halbit. Uh, I did get one really good bite, but I think I uh, tried setting the hook a little too soon. I got some nice bite marks in that. And that swim bait that I was using, um, it's like a mint colored swim bait. Did snag this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just trying to show you off, buddy. Nice cabby. Haven't measured him yet. No, he's legal. Yeah, let's drop this down. See what we can do. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is a beauty. Look at that. I guess we're tied now, huh? We do over right here. Look at that. That is it's a beautiful, beautiful duo. Damn. Good job, bro. Oh. Get some more. Oh, look at that. Ain't that cute. I started recording for this. That's a nice red. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use it for bait. No, I'm just kidding. Let you get bigger. See you another day. All right, so I hooked up on that little gopher. But we're gonna start making our way back down south 
towards the jetty. Uh, we're heading just a little bit deeper. And, uh, but yeah, we're going to start making our way in just slowly but surely. So just in case the wind uh, decides to pick up, even though it shouldn't really, we're not too far away. But yeah, let's, uh, I'll see you at the next spot. All right, fish on. Sergio just caught a black and wow. Oh, get over here. Gopher, you're going back. We need some lings. All right, on another one. Doesn't feel very big though. Let's see. Let's see, moment of truth. It's a bigger gopher. We're not keeping gophers today, unless they're like ginormous, but one, two, three, you can get out of here. Well, as far as anything keeper, we got that one cabbie and we do have, well, Sergio has a black rockfish and a red, but it's getting pretty windy out here. So we're calling it. We're going to head back in. Uh, Got about another half a mile before we hit the jetty. But yeah, no, it was a, it was a good day out. Can't ask for much more, but uh, I'll see you guys in the jetty. All right, guys, you'll never guess what I just found. Out here in the ocean, a brand new, no, I'm just kidding, it's empty. <laughs> but throw it in the trash where it belongs. Almost home, guys, and then we're gonna do a little, little catch and cook, right, Sergio? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna see what's better, cabazon or vermilion rockfish. And I need, what do you guys think is gonna taste better, vermilion rockfish or cabazon? Comment below. I'm curious to see what you think is gonna taste better. So, make sure you comment before. Don't cheat. Uh, but also give me your opinion. But let's see what tastes better. So we're almost in and uh, we'll, uh, we'll fillet these fish up and then we're gonna go to Sergio's house and we're gonna, we're gonna barbecue these, uh, these fish up. So see when we get back inside. Now you're ready. You gotta say something. Right, we are done cleaning the fish. Um, we got everything packed up in the truck, ready to go. We're gonna go to Sergio's house. We're gonna do a little taste test on a vermilion rockfish and a cabazon. So, like I said below, tell me what you think is gonna taste better, a vermilion rockfish or a cabazon? And we kept the skin on the cabazon, and then we kept the skin on one of the vermilion rockfish. So we'll uh, we'll taste it with the skin on and skin off as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What's gonna taste better? And we will see you at Sergio's house, and we're gonna throw these babies on the pit. We're gonna get grubbing. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right. So today we're gonna be cooking. One of the reds, one of the reds fillets. Boom. We're also gonna do one of the black rockfish fillets. 
Boom. We're also gonna do a piece of the cabby. Boom, just like that. All right, let's get to it. All right, so what are we gonna be doing with these fish today? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw them on the grill. Uh, we got a little fish basket right here. We're gonna go ahead and put some bits of onion on the cage itself so that the fish doesn't stick. And then we're gonna go ahead and lather the uh, fillets with a paste that I just made out of garlic, lime, olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'll tell you what guys, it smells delicious. Can't wait to have some of this. All right, pit's ready to go. Look at that. Oh yeah, so how long are we gonna cook this one? About 20, 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. We'll let the uh, skin side crisp up. Yeah. Flip it over and then just finish it off. Should be good to go. Excited, man. I'm so hungry. Yeah, get all that juice on there. Let's see this. Flip time. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. It's gonna taste so good. Man, I'm so hungry right now. Are you hungry? Yeah. Can't wait. Almost done. All right. Fish is ready. Sergio doesn't believe in lights. He likes the darkness. There we go. We're gonna let that rest right there. He's cutting up some avocado. And we got some rice going. We're gonna plate this and get it to business. All right, food is done. Check this out. Should get a good, good camera view. Oh, I'm sorry. Lighting's not the best, but we have the red was in the middle, right? All right, so we got the vermilion, the red rockfish. We got the cabazon, and then we got the black rockfish right here. Taste test is going to be between these two. We'll add that guy in there. But let's get to it. I told Serge, sorry, man. You gotta, you gotta sit next to me. Did you, uh, you already put lemon on it? Hmm? You already put lemon on it? Right? Okay. Take this avocado. Now we're gonna try it in the, its purest form, almost. Besides that bomb garlic paste you put on there. Limon? Should try it with or without the limon? First without. So what do we want first? Let's see, let's do... We'll do the cabbie things on the outside. Or which one, where's your cabbie at? My cabbie is right here. Okay, so that's his cabbie. No, this is my cabbie. That's your cabbie? Yeah. Cabby, Cabby, red, red, black. All right. So let's do this. Cabby first? Yeah. We'll just do just the meat. Mm -hmm. We'll try the skin after. Oh, yeah. That's so good. That is so good. Mm. I would just like... The purest meat, like... It is just okay. My poor good. All right. All right. Ready? Vermilion. Vermilion. Well, we're here using my fingers. Oh well. I think the vermilion's a little bit, um, not tougher, but like. It's not as flaky as the, uh, as the cabazon. You think so? I think so, yeah. I think it's pretty flaky, dude. I don't, honestly, I don't, I can't really, there's not really that big of a difference. No. They both cook the same, they both look the same. Without the skin, I don't think you could. The cabazon really is better. Really? Mm -hmm. No. I think they both taste really good. 
I can't really taste the difference. What about the skin, dude? Is it charred pretty good? That's pretty good with the skin on mm -hmm. it. Um, all right, well, there you have it. They both taste amazing. So if you ever get the chance to try some Cabazon, or some Vermilion Red Snapper, definitely do it. It's a, it's a great fish. You can really manipulate it to change the flavor and it's just especially when you catch it fresh in yourself oh, you just squirted me with your line dude <laughs> <laughs> anyways we're gonna get to eating and we'll see you next time say bye sergio peace Thank you.